All right, guys, I'm going to show you my 360 controller that I converted to a rechargeable battery pack. Uh, this battery pack's a lithium ion. Um, it's a 4.2 volt, well, it's actually 3.7, but fully charged is 4.2. Uh, this one only has 700 milliamp hours, uh, but this one here has uh, like 2,000. Yeah. Um, this one was a little bit big. Uh, it wouldn't have really fit well. <laughs> so, this uh, battery pack fit damn near perfect almost. Um, if I had another one of these, I would hook it uh, up to this one as well to, uh, for more capacity. But, this little 700 milliamp hour battery pack uh, lasts me pretty much all week if I play about 2-3 or three hours a day. Um, and then you just charge it up and it usually takes about a couple hours or so. So, it works uh, pretty dang good. Um, you can also use an 18650 battery or any of uh, these lithium ion batteries. Um, except, you know, you have to get kind of creative and try to tape it in there or something. Um, you can get the, um, the smaller versions of these. I forget what they're called, but they're about half the size or three quarter. You could probably fit two of them in there. Uh, and this plug, uh, I got a charger that I just plug this into and it charges it. Um, this controller's pretty beat up. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how I converted mine. Real simple. Um, to be able to use uh, cell phone batteries or something like that, something like this here, you have to remove the um, top. And you want to be very careful not to rip the leads out of the battery. Um, and when you solder on these, solder it quick and then hot glue around these so that they don't short out. These batteries, these lithium ions can't explode if you misuse them uh, or catch on fire. They'll get real hot uh, if these two leads were to short out for long periods of time. Um, and you have to have a special charger. You cannot use um, the 360 controller if you hook it up into that battery pack or whatever and expect the... Uh, um, 360 to charge it. No, don't do that. Um, these controllers are only rated for 3 volts. Uh, these uh, batteries here fully charged are 4.2, which isn't going to be a big deal. The controller can handle it. I've already tested it. Um, I've tested it with this junk controller I've had. Uh, it still works. Uh, I just didn't want to ruin one of my good ones. But yeah, I mean, it works perfect. Um... And the special charger, you'll have to look up and get one of these uh, IMAX B6 chargers, I think it is, or something. I forget what it is. Yeah, IMAX B6, they're about 20 bucks. You can get the cheap Chinese versions. And you have to also get the power adapter that goes with it. Um, they're real cheap. All you have to do is set it and, and have it charge. Or you can possibly get one of these uh, 18650 battery chargers and uh, modify it uh, to where all you have to do is connect two wires and be able to charge it, put it in like a little plug or something like this. You can go to Radio Shack, uh, get some little uh, adapters that you can plug in. Um, but you could possibly turn one of these into a charger. Because they charge uh, these 4.2 volt lithium ion batteries, and these are practically the same thing. So, you can do that if you want to go the cheap route. But yeah, I mean, this uh, battery pack works great. I never had a problem with it, and I've been using it for probably a couple weeks now. So, yeah, works great. And there's no way to actually turn the controller off anymore. Unless I put a switch or something in here, a little micro switch. Probably could right here, actually. Um, but it'll just stay on for about, I think, 10 or 15 minutes. And then it just automatically goes off without being used. So that works out. All right. All right, I forgot to mention... Now you have to check the voltage on this uh, after every use. Um, there's little pins here on this connect, this particular connector that I have. 
Um, you have to check the voltage with a voltmeter after every use uh, to make sure it doesn't go below three and a half volts or so because uh, if you put it in one of these chargers it recognizes it's only like if it's below three volts it won't charge it um, and then the battery is pretty much junk I mean you can still jump start it and charge it but if, it, if the battery goes below three volts and you and then it risks uh, damaging it so I wouldn't do that um, you can actually get on eBay and or any of these um, battery websites or uh, whatever and get a protection circuit um, for these lithium ion cells, especially the 18650s. That's what they're made for um, because you're actually eliminating the uh, protection circuit in here um, once you take this off. Um, but you have to take it off to be able to, be able to use these types of cell phone batteries. But anyway, you can uh, get on eBay, search up uh, lithium ion uh, protection circuits, um, and you can build it into your uh, system here, your wires, solder it in. And uh, what it'll do is that if the battery goes below a certain voltage, it just turns off, just like uh, if your AA batteries went dead, uh, same deal. So, and then you know to charge it. And you can actually, you know, try to get creative and make these removable. And make, you know, charging docks and whatnot for them. I just hot glued mine in, really. So, but yeah, just don't forget to check the voltage after every use. Or charge it after every use. Um, or get one of those protection circuits to put in there. Because if you go below that voltage, it's just going to ruin the battery. Uh, it'll still work and probably still charge, but um, you're, you're just ruining the battery. It's going to lessen the capacity this thing has. Um, like this one, it's at 2,000 milliamp hours. I think I tested it with my IMAX charger, and it only had 1,300 milliamp hours. So, but yeah, just make sure you get one of those protection circuits or check it after every use. So to connect your wires, what you would do is, uh, if you have your controller facing just like this towards you with the control, uh, triggers out, the positive is on the left side. The negative over here is on the right. So what I did, I just directly soldered these wires to the uh, little spring uh, pins in here, and that worked out just perfect. So, yeah. There you go.